So now going through, so let's say once we, they do the different tasks, we're ready to invoice them um, under sales. We would navigate now to our sales invoices. And then here, like I said before, I've, I've created one from created. the job. So here we have the different resources, so Mark and then Mary. And then we hear, I mean, at the resource level, we could set up what their unit price is if you have different rates for certain people, or if it's the same rate, I mean, you set it up in the resource and then that information will flow through the invoice. Okay, okay. so here we, we just did a quick example of that. Now I'm gonna touch a little bit of the inner company here. Um, since we're all in the same environment, we can transfer in this case a sales invoice to become a purchase invoice in the subsequent company. And then, and then here I could say which account they should be booking this to. So I mean, in this case, I booked it to miscellaneous expense, but I mean, it could be a professional expense depending on what they have set up. You could right. code it to the corresponding account where they're gonna book it to. And when I post this invoice, if we have the relationship set up, it's gonna automatically create a purchase invoice they could review and then post if everything looks like. Um, here we have basic information, your posting date, due dates are automatically calculated based on the payment terms that we have here. And then once everything's okay, then I could go ahead and just post it. So this is gonna finalize this transaction. So once I post it, I just have to confirm and then it's gonna go ahead and go through and, and post that entry. So here it just lets me know it's been posted. I could go ahead and open it and then review that information. I guess you could see now it's all read only. I can't see now once it's posted, but I could go ahead and print it, send it out. And if there's any issues, I could also correct it. You have the correct options here as well. So, so now navigating here real quick back to your customer list. Um, so we'll see here the different customers that you have set up. Uh, once it loads here, here we go. So here we have our customer list. I mean, you could set up new customers as needed. We have different views here. I mean, any of these amounts you could drill down as needed. Some additional information over here on the right-hand side. So I could see posted transactions, any balances, anything like that I could drill down for. And then I also have different views available. This is my list view. I do have some tile views. So if I have pictures of anybody, I could see them that way as well or smaller tiles as well. So you, you can yeah. choose between the one you want. And then also a nice feature that we have is a personalized option. So under the gear here, we have personalized. This allows me to add columns or hide certain information from my list views, and this is by user. So if I don't wanna see a certain information, information or I wanna bring in um, the currency code, let's say we have different currency, I could bring that field in and then see that here. Now this one, they're all US, so I don't, have any other currencies, but I mean, you, here I could add different payment terms, anything like you have the fields here on the right-hand side that are available. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull up one of the customer cards here. Um, so we have the the basic information here of the, the customer. And is this, I assume, is integrated with the, the out-of-the-box CRM? Correct, yeah. So the yeah. contact management is all linked under the customer, so we'll see that in a bit as well. Okay, so here we have the number, which is a unique identifier of that customer. Uh, their name, like I said here, their balance. Any of these these lines, I could go ahead and click on those to get the detail of the different invoices. If things are red and bolded here, it means they're past due at this point. So that's what the system does to make them stand out. And then at that point, we, I mean, we could send statements or send a reminder to the customer as well. And then here we have their basic sell, to, I mean, build to address, I would say you have that here, but you also have the option to set up additional ship to addresses for each customer. So if they have additional addresses, you could, you could all record them here as well. Okay. And then under invoicing, we have our, the system uses what we call posting groups. So that's what you're seeing these here. Um, those are just the default accounts of the system that this customer will use whenever you post a transaction against them. And then right there, okay, so continuing here, here on the right hand side, we, we have the fact box where you could put in your pictures. You could drill down to specific history of a customer as well. So you could post it invoices, um, any returns or anything like that, credit memos, you could see that all across here. And then we also have a field here where you could attach documents, add links or notes to for the specific customer as well. That information there. And, and I then see here, you can also attach documents to each sales invoice. 
uh, you know, like expense receipts or something. Correct. Yeah, okay. so here we'll go ahead and just look at the ledger entries. I'll drill down to an invoice just to show you that section right. as well. So here's the, the invoice we posted earlier. And then here on the right-hand side, we have the attachment okay. section as well.